Recent research has shown that people over 40 who have even a small amount of knee pain have a 90% chance of having knee osteoarthritis, even if the x-rays are normal. The addition of three knee exam tests can add to this information to determine who suffers from osteoarthritis. With this, we can now diagnose osteoarthritis years earlier than usual. My next patient has apparently been suffering from knee pain, and based on the result of a few questions and three quick knee exam tests, we can determine the condition of the joint. Hello, Leslie. I'm Dr. Saber. It's nice to meet you. Thank you, and the same to you, doctor. Have a seat. All right, I understand you're having some trouble with your knee. What seems to be the problem? Well, I uh, have no idea. It's just that I've had this aching in my knee, and it won't go away. Okay, can you show me where it hurts exactly? Right down the center here, over the kneecap, and then down here, down the side. Okay, okay. and how long have you had this pain? Well, it's not really a pain. It's more like a discomfort. And it's not there all the time. It started about two years ago. It's pretty bad in winter, and when, uh, when it was hurting all the time for about two months, and now it's eased up a bit, but it keeps on bothering me every once in a while. Okay, and can you tell me, have you noticed anything that makes the pain worse or <laughs> makes it better? Climbing stairs makes it worse, so, instead of walking a long distance, playing golf. When it hurts, I normally just take a, a rest and, and I sit down for a bit, put heat on when it's really bad. That seems to make it feel better. All right. And uh, how long are you knees stiff for in the morning when you first get up? Just a, a few minutes, sometimes half an hour, and it feels like forever. Mm, <laughs> all right. I'll get you to throw on your shorts, and I'll be back in a few minutes. All right. Uh, can I get you to lie down? Oh, yes. Right. So first I'm going to see if there's any swelling in your knee. There are two tests that we do to detect swelling, um, and they, because they detect different amounts of fluid, we use them in conjunction with one another. So the first test is called the bulge sign, and with this test, we basically just move fluid around the joint. So first, I'm going to displace the fluid from the medial side of the knee, and then push it back in from the lateral side, and watch for a bulge to appear medially, which indicates a joint diffusion. And this test can detect a really small amount of fluid as small as three milliliters, and you do have a positive bulge sign. Mm. Now the second test is the patella tap. This test detects a larger amount of joint swelling. With this test, I push the fluid from the superpatella pouch into the knee, and then I gently push down on the patella to feel for a patella tap, which is the tapping sensation that occurs when the patella hits the femur underneath. Your patella tap is negative, but you do have a bit of swelling in your knee based on a positive bulge sign. So next, the next test I'm gonna do is look for a flexion contracture or how well your knee straightens out. So let me just scoot down here. Um, with this, I'm just gonna straighten out your knee and I'm looking whether it straightens out completely. Even a small degree of uh, flexion contracture is abnormal, but your leg straightens out normally. Okay, next I'm going to check your gait. Can I get you to stand up? Uh, yeah. Come over here. So what I want you to do is turn around, walk away from me a few steps, then turn back and do it twice. In the assessment of gait, we look for any limp or abnormality of the affected knee in either stance or swing phase of the gait. All right, That's good. Fine. Those are all the tests. Have a seat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so based on your description of activity-induced pain um, that you've had over the past year, together with those three tests, I can tell you do have some osteoarthritis in your right knee. Now, the thing about osteoarthritis is that even though it's a condition that's developed over time, it's not necessarily based on the fact that you're just getting older. There's other factors that play a role in this, uh, such as weight, physical activity, 
uh, muscle strength, things like that. But the good news is it's a manageable condition. How is it manageable? Well, there's three things you can do. First, a good exercise program to keep uh, strong knee and hip muscles as well as for aerobic fitness um, can help reduce knee pain substantially. And uh, you can do exercises in a swimming pool, for example, and some people consult with a physiotherapist who can teach specific exercises. The second thing is to have uh, to maintain a healthy body weight. That's really key. Um, people who are overweight, um, even lo losing 10 pounds can sometimes help reduce knee pain quite substantially. Last thing I want you to do is find out all you can about osteoarthritis and how it's managed. There are some good sources of information um, on the Arthritis Research Center of Canada website at uh, arthritisresearch.ca. Okay. Sound good, and thank you, Doc. You're welcome. <laughs> In summary, your patient has a high chance of having knee osteoarthritis if he or she has discomfort or pain, which can be intermittent, and meets the following four criteria. First, if at any time in the past your patient has felt discomfort or pain on most days of the month. It's pretty bad in winter and when, uh, when it was hurting all the time for about two months. Second, your patient has had any discomfort or pain in the past year. It keeps on bothering me every once in a while. Third, it is worse with activity. Climbing stairs makes it worse, so instead of walking a long distance. And finally, it is relief to rest. When it hurts, I normally just take a, a rest and, and I sit down for a bit. In such a patient with discomfort or pain in the knee, he or she can be diagnosed with osteoarthritis if one of the following signs is present, including effusion, flexion contracture, or gait abnormality.